they they pleaded to him. The master have mercy upon me. Y'all remember that? All right. So so the, the, when you look at that, when you look at all of that, all of that, you see how uh, the background and the understanding, the context there. We find that they, they were far from the road that was one because they had leprosy, they, so they could only be so many feet feet from the road. That's number one. Then not only could they be only so many feet from the road, then leprosy was a disease that also would attack would attack your lungs and your vocal cords. All right. So 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 when it, whenever it became a bad state, then you would begin to you begin to lose your voice. All right, it would be a, it would be you would begin it would quiet your voice. All right, so so you would have you couldn't propel like I'm talking now. You couldn't propel. You couldn't you couldn't you couldn't get loud like you would want to get. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So and so so in order for well, I not with this stuff here. And so in order for them to be able for Jesus to be able to hear them, they would have to band together. Well, something something how whatever you got a group of folk that's hurting. Uh huh, and all of them want to be healed. Yeah. What happened is they'll band together. Yeah. And what I love about that text, when you, when you see, when you look at it, it was a group of it was a group of lepers. All right, you don't know you don't know how many, you don't know who all they were. All you know was ten lepers. Yeah. All right, and so they had to band together and they had to all in unison come together and and plead to plead to the master so the master could hear them. Does that make sense, y'all? All right, and so anyway, so anyway, then Jesus, Jesus, y'all know Jesus goes and Jesus, Jesus heals them, and then uh, they all tell them, "Go show yourself to the priest." All right, and all of them run off, but only one stop. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Only one stop. The one turned back, turned back, and, 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 and fell down and worshipped him. Is that your text, y'all? Mm -hmm. All right, and then and then Jesus asked the question that boy. Sometimes I ask the question too, y'all. Sometimes I really do. I really do whenever you think about all the people you've helped, and you think about the people that you helped and the people that you, you you've given stuff to and you and you worked with, and all of a sudden you know you you know you know you helped 25, but only 10 come to Bible class. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all know what I'm talking about? You, yeah. you, you know you've done so much for so many others, but then all of but then all of a sudden, uh, when it comes time for uh somebody to even act like they're halfway grateful. All right, not even half up short to show they're grateful. Yeah. I'm not picking on nobody. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I, I like to try to put it in our laps. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. I mean, how many folk you done help, and 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 you look around, and then and only one or two have to you have at least enough courtesy to even say thank you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Jesus said, "What well, Jesus, 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 Jesus said, wait, brother, what's the night? Ten. Was it not ten? Was it not ten? I'm coming to eighteen. I promise y'all. Was it not ten? Yeah. All right, cleanser. And he said, "Well, what are the night? What are what are what are the other one was too busy going and get and watch this, y'all. Too busy going and enjoying the blessing that they had that they didn't have enough time to come and say thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Anyway, so Jesus did that. So you had that in chapter seventeen. And then, after, and then, then, then after that, all right, then Jesus begins to talk about. Jesus began to work with the disciples, and he began to talk about, uh, talk, talk about what is going to happen pretty much in the end. Okay, and he talks, and he, and he sort laying, laying all, that, all those things out in verse number thirty-six. Two, thirty-six says two men will, will be in the fields, and then, then one will be taken, and the other left. Y'all remember, y'all remember all, all of those things. He's, he's talking about what's what what what's gonna happen. All right, giving kind of giving a, pro, a, a prophecy and somewhat of what would what happen. And then he gets 18. Gets 18, and he wants to emphasize prayer. Mm -hmm. And what I love about how he uses this thing here is he he he, he emphasizes the persistence of the widow, but also he emphasized, he emphasized the by her pre being persistent, how she got on the unjust ruler's nerves. And then, and, and watch, and, and the result of the prep, the result of her request being answered was not because the unjust ruler just had a kind heart and wanted to, uh, wanted to answer and bless her. No, he got tired of it. He got tired of it. Mm -hmm. Y'all, 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 I know all y'all got kids. Mm -hmm. It ain't 
Anybody, got, any, anybody ever had kids get on your nerves? Mm -hmm. All right, you do something cause cause they just keep on asking. Yeah. Uh huh? Uh huh? Yeah. No. Then, then we going to the park. Yeah. We go. We, we go to the park. We, we, we going to, when we going to the park? When we, we, we going to go to the park? We, we, when we when we going to go to the park? After a while, before long, you at the park because you, not because you just felt so wonderful for her to go to the park. No, you got tired of hearing her ask you, can we go to the park? Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so let's watch this thing. In verse 8, chapter 18, in verse number 1, the Bible says what, Drew? Come on and read. And he spake a parable. And he spake a parable to them. Come on. And I'll read. Look, 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 look. He says, see, so he's, he's emphasizing the fact that men should ought to always pray and not faint. Now, men should always pray and not faint. Don't get tired of praying. All right? Men should always pray. It's, it's, a, it's a part of, of our lifestyle, it's a part of what we do. Uh, Thessalonians, the, 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 when Paul was talking to the church of Thessalonica, he told, he told them, pray, pray without ceasing. Right. All right? You should always, we should always pray. pray. All right? In Philippians chapter 4, it says, through prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. We should always, prayer, prayer should be a part of who we are. Yeah. All right? Uh, of who we are. But, like Eddie was talking last week, sometimes we get tired. All right? And watch this, y'all. It's not the fact that we get tired of praying. What we get tired of is uh, the time between me praying and me getting an answer. Yeah. I don't got a problem with praying. Maybe. You got a problem with praying. I'll pray. But okay, it's that in-between time. I preached a sermon on that one time, didn't it? It's that in-between time. It's that, it's that, 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 time, that time between the time I ask God and the time God and that time that prayer being manifested. All right, that's what, is that when we get that, is that when we get kind of kind of bothered? Yeah, and yeah, you know, I'm, 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 like like Lord, when you gonna answer? When, when, when you gonna answer? Uh, I, I, I also preach a song called "How Long Is the Night?" You know, yeah, the, the Bible says the weeping may endure for a night, but what joy comes in the morning? Yeah. Right? Well, but what, what my problem that I have is is and you say that weeping is only gonna endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. My question is, how long is the night? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a meeting there, ain't it, y'all? Uh, that's my question. How, how, how long, how long, how long, how long, Lord? How long, how long is the night? Uh, how long, how long, how long? So, so, so we get weary, we get weary, and we may grow faint, all right, in the process, not in the actual process of prayer, but we get weary and faint in the waiting you know, on the prayer being answered. And what happens is when our prayers are not answered, when we want them to be answered, then all of a sudden we begin to get wavery in our process of prayer. So we say, okay, all right, if I'm praying and it's not happening, it's still not happening, then why do I got, what, what's the point of me praying then? If, if God ain't gonna come, what's the point of me praying? Then here it is, I'm bring it to y'all again, all right? Your baby keep asking you over and over and over for the same thing. After a while, when that baby don't get it, after a while, the baby stop asking. Because they already, in their mind, they say, well, you ain't going to do nothing anyway. <laughs> My heart made a mind. All right? So, you know what? Just forget about it. Yeah. So, why do I have to come? Why, why you didn't ask me, baby? Why well, last time I asked you, you didn't answer? Does that make sense? Am I, am I in the house, y'all? Yeah. Are we good? Are right, y'all looking at me like I'm strange? I'm just trying to make sure we all on the same page. All right, so, so he said, mention of always prayer and not faith. Come on, read. Say it. Say it. That was a city, a judge. All right, now watch this, y'all. Watch. Watch, watch how Jesus does this. There was a judge in the city that feared not God. Neither regarded man. And watch this. And didn't care about mankind. So I watch. I don't care about God. And I don't care about man. All right? So, so, so watch this, y'all. So I have nothing that would move me to make a, ju a good judgment on anybody's behalf. So. All right? I don't have God pulling at me. And you know what? Not only do I not have God pulling at me, I really don't care about you. 
So if I don't care about you and I don't have the option of God to even try to get me to that point to where I can do something that was right by anybody, then really, I'm all about me. Does that make sense? So y'all see the character of this person. This person is all about himself. Y'all with me? All right, read, Drew. And there was a widow in that city. And I that there was a widow. Now, there was a widow in that city. That meant nobody to help her. She was a widow. Now, I'm not sure she was a widow indeed, but she was a widow. That I know, all right? So, no husband, nobody. Knows. So, and y'all know how widows was characterized in those days, all right? They were almost, almost good for nothing. They, they were done. All right, you're a widow. You're over, you're over there, you take care of that's, that's, that's you. All right? Come on, read. And she came unto him. She came to him, saying, read. Avenge me of my adversary. Avenge me of my adversary. Come on. And he would not for a while. He would not for a while. Look, he would not for a while. So that meant she kept asking. That's right. Mm -hmm. but, that, but read. After what he said within himself. Uh huh. Though I fear not God, yeah. my regard man. Yeah. Yet because this will, will trouble me. Why? Because she wearing me. Yeah. Uh-huh. That when you got trouble, because she, she wearing me. She won't stop coming and asking over and 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 over. Alright, she get on my nerves. Yeah. She's troubling me. Read come. I will avenge her. I will avenge her. By her continual coming, she worried me. Because she kept coming, she wore me down. And, and the Lord said. And the Lord said. Hear what the unjust judge said. Yes, come on. And he shall not, and shall not God avenge his own elect. Uh-huh. Which cried day and uh -huh. night unto him. Well, see, 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 the, see the point here? If, if the unjust judge would avenge her. What more would God do for those who we care about if they come to him? Mm -hmm. Consistently. Mm -hmm. You see that? Consistently. So so it's one of those things where where where, where we, 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 we have to be we need to be persistent. We need to we need to ask God. We need we we can't get on God's nerves. Y'all think you can get on God's nerve? Can you get on God's nerve? Ask. You have not because you would. Ask not. Okay? That makes sense? All right? What verse you on? Verse 7. Verse 7, read. Though he be not wrong with them. Yeah. I tell you. I tell you. That he will avenge them speedily. Speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, yeah. shall he find faith on the earth. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And make this parable unto certain, yeah. which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Yeah, so so really, really, Jesus, Jesus is, is teaching, teaching, you need to be persistent in your in your prayer life. But not only do you need to be persistent in your prayer life, you 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 understand that God is able and God will answer speedily if he needs to. Mm -hmm. Alright? Everybody, everybody okay? Everybody okay? Alright, now let's go uh, uh, let's go uh, Paul, let's go to uh, Ephesians 6 and 18. Next slide please. <clears throat> alright, alright, let's talk. Prayers, praying always with all prayer and supplication. All right, so uh, Ephesians 6 and, 6 and 18, okay, and, and so that's something we should always pray, all right? That should be a part of who we are, a part of what we are. Ephesians 6 and 18, the Bible says what? Pray in our ways with our prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Yes, read. And watching there too with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Yes, come on, keep on reading. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me. Uh-huh. That I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the God. All right, so 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 Paul, Paul is, is teaching. All right, we should continually pray. All right, we should pray without ceasing. All right, we should always have prayer and supplication. That should just be a part of who we are. That's our lifestyle. That's our that's that's everything we do. Prayer and supplication. That's what we do. Okay? Now, when we started out with all this stuff, we talked about 
we showed, we, we talked about, and we gave everybody pretty much a a a model. We talked about the model prayer. Y'all remember that? Yes. All right. But not only did we talk about the model prayer, then we also gave everybody everybody tools to tools and a way of practicing prayer. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Yes. Okay. So watch. So there is no reason that a member of the Lord's church should not be able to be continue earnestly in prayer and be vigilant in be vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Because you've been given tools. Mm -hmm. We even gave, we even gave you what? You, we even talked about when you should pray. We talked about what you should pray for. Mm -hmm. We talked about who you should pray for. Okay? And watch, and watch. There's enough stuff to pray for that you can pick one. Uh, you can pick whichever one you want to do seven days a week. Yeah. You can pray for the church on Monday, on Monday, on Sunday. Pray for your family on Monday. Pray for your friends on Tuesday. Yeah. Pray for the nation on Wednesday. Pray. Am I making sense? Yeah. Okay? All right. Pray for spiritual growth on Thursday. Okay? So, so you can break it up in there to where you can be continuously, earnestly in prayer. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right? And, and one of the things that Dr. Roche taught us, taught us is... Uh, is the prayer macro? I, I, I've talked about that before uh, with the brethren, uh, but also is is you can what he taught us to do a lot of sometimes is is in our prayer mode, in our prayer mode as we try to stay in a in a form of prayer all day long, and in a time of prayer all day long, in a mindset of prayer all day long is use it like you use a telephone. Strange. All right, so 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 I'm so I'm, I'm I'm in my mind. I'm in I'm in prayer with God. And look, I don't have to close my eyes and stop and get out on my knees to pray. I don't. Okay. Some of us think we gotta get in a certain position to pray. Yeah. You can be driving down the road praying. Right. You can be walking walking through your house praying. You can be going on with your with your normal day in a mindset of prayer. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and then when somebody comes and interrupts you, put your prayer on hold. That's what y'all do when y'all on the phone. Yeah. Y'all put that call on hold, don't you? Mm -hmm. Hold on, wait a minute. Flip over. Handle that, and then flip right back over, get right back in that conversation. And some of y'all got bad memories, so you'll say, Girl, where was I? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. All right, Drew is notorious for that. All right? Okay, man, uh, Hold on, give me, give me a minute. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get back to what I was thinking about. All right, so, 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 same thing in your prayer life. Okay, if you want, if you really want to stay in a mindset of prayer, it's a conscious effort that you can make. Okay, when you just constantly in prayer, walking and talking, doing, the, doing, the, doing, the, doing, the, doing what you do, and then turn it off, get right back to it. All right, but look, that takes conscious effort to do that. Mm -hmm. it, 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 and you have to have a desire to want to stay in that mode. Some of us don't want to be in that mode because in that mode, we can't cuss nobody out. Mm. Mm. In that mode, we can't talk crazy to somebody. In that mode, we can't act wrong. All right? It's amazing when you try to stay in right relationship with God all day long, all day long, and, you, and that's what your mind is, and that's what you're fasting. Everything is on that. So then all of a sudden, your behavior changes even when folk come at you wrong. Mm -hmm. When they come at you wrong, you're already in a state of mind to where I am in a prayer macro with God. So you come at me wrong, then I respond from that state mm -hmm. and not from a crazy state. Does that make sense? Y'all yeah. good? All right. So, 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 continuously, earnestly praying, or right? being vigilant in with Thanksgiving, praying without ceasing. We talked about that, okay? If we have become slack in our prayer, oh, this is good. In our prayers, might that be an indication that we do not appreciate the power of prayer? Think about that for a minute. If we have become
don't slack in it, then that means it's not as important to us as we say it is. Because if it was as important to us, then we would appreciate the power of prayer. It's like this, it's like this, it's like this. If I told you, if I, if, if, if I give you a great example. When me and Shalom was in, in, in Dallas, at Cliffview, uh, we would do some crazy, we would do some stuff, just, just what we do, all right? Uh, when the Lord would bless us, we would bless the church. And instead of putting it in the offering, what we would do is, we would, we would take money and put it in envelopes. I think I told this story before. Yeah. I right, put it in envelopes. And then my wife would go get all the bulletins. Right, because the lady would follow the bulletins. She would go get all the bulletins. And then she would take, take those envelopes and she would write a letter, write a note, no, uh, uh, this, is a bless, this is a blessing from God. If you don't need it, pass it on. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, then she would, we would put it all out, pull it, it would spread it out. All right, she would, we'd do five or six of them, but she would take them, shuffle them all up, give them back. Give them back. So, folk come to church, and grab their books, it's going on, going on. Am I, am, am I making sense? All right, going on. All right, those bulletins, those bullets, it's amazing, it's amazing. All the time, many people would come by the table, all right? Now, Sister Callaway have done all this hard work, make sure all the bullets are together, and all the bulletins are right. Right? Put them out there, they, people have got there early, folding them up, make sure everything's right. They've been doing this week after week after week, many weeks, right? Folk walk by the table, only get one. I'm good. So all, so all this effort that they put in to make this bulletin, to get this bulletin, goes unappreciated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants one. All right? We start putting money in it. <laughs> what you think happened? What enough, enough bulletins? <laughs> and why, why? And we didn't do it every Sunday, but you know, yeah. this might be the Sunday. Yeah. All right? It's the same principle with the power of prayer. Hmm. All right, if we really will get, we'll allow ourselves to get slack in our prayers, then we don't really, we, we really don't appreciate the power of prayer. Because if we really appreciated the power of prayer, all right, we will say, I can't get slack in this. Hmm. I can't get slack. I can't. I can't get slack. I can't get slack in this. It is because it's, it's, it's through this power that I have in the power of prayer, this relationship that I have with God that's keeping me doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And keeping me going and being what I can be. Alright? So if I slack off, then man, I'm going to lose power from God. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Y'all good? Alright? So that may be an indicator. Alright? Next slide, please. All right, there is forgiveness from God through power of prayer. The Christian can find forgiveness through the blood of Christ. First John, uh, John seven, first, chapter chapter one, verses seven through ten. All right, thus the erring Christian is told to repent and pray. All right, so 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 watch this, y'all. How do you receive forgiveness from God? That's a question. I'm not going to answer. I'm going to ask y'all to. How do you receive forgiveness from God? All right. What does the Bible say? First John, chapter one and verse. Sorry, verse number seven. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. And he is in the light. He is in the light. Come on. We have fellowship one with another. Fellowship one with another. Read. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. Blood of Jesus Christ does all sin. Come on. If we say that we have no sin, if we had say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. We we'll deceive ourselves. Read. The truth is not in us. Read. If we confess our sins, He uh -huh. is faithful and just to forgive us yes. our sins and to cleanse us from, from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sin, yes. we make Him a liar, and the word is not in us. In us. All right. So how do you? How are your sins forgiven? Confess, right? How do you confess? Through prayer. Through prayer. All right. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so we we ought to. That's a whole nother lesson that I'll teach 
tell our teach sometimes is is public confession versus private confession. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll we'll, we'll 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 work through that one 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 time because we, we gotta we gotta we, we need to because some folk think that you got to come down and confess everything before the church. Mm-hmm. All right. Some some stuff you just you just need to handle you and God. You need you you. you you and, you and God, a lot of us, you and God are the only ones saw it anyway. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right? So, so, so we, 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 we got to, and the only avenue, watch this, y'all, the only avenue to do that is by communicating with God. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Right. And how would you communicate with God? Through prayer. Through prayer. Okay? Through prayer. Look, so, so with that being the case, with that being the case, everybody ought to at least have a daily prayer. Yeah. At least a daily one. Yes. Other than the time that you're praying for your food. Yeah. You ought to at least have a daily prayer. All right? Just asking the Lord for forgiveness because all of us sin every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some, sometimes you sin don't even know you did. Knowingly mm. yeah. and unknowingly. Does that make sense? All right, all right. You probably offended somebody. All right, so you you know, ask God to forgive me, forgive you, forgive you, forgive you, to forgive you, so you get that right with God. Is that right? All right. All right. Acts eight verse twenty two. All right. Thus the errant Christian is told to repent and pray. All right. Now look. So so you repent. What is repentance, y'all? What is repentance? I said every I said every Sunday. Yeah, but what is what is, what is what what does what does repentance mean? I say I say it just like every Sunday. There you go. A repentance is a change of heart, change of mind, change of understanding. All right, I'm gonna turn from and turn to. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Re- re- repentance, repentance should be an, is an action. Does that make sense? So when I when I when I say when I say I'm asking God for forgiveness, all right, and I'm re- watch this, I'm repenting of my sins, mm-hmm. all right, should mean I'm, I'm asking God to forgive me, and now I'm turning from my sins. Right. Repentance. All right. The problem is some of us think we can come and we can Lord forgive me, Lord forgive my sins, but you ain't turned nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we, we, we come and we say what we say, say, ask church to pray for me, and Lord, Lord forgive me, and, and then we go right back out the same thing. Because it was, the truth there was, truth there was no turn. We spoke it with our mouths, but our heart was never there. Y'all okay, y'all good? Okay, I'm just making sure y'all look at my back, like he's just fussing, I'm not, I'm just going to fuss. All right, Acts 8, at verse 22, what about the Bible say, Go. Oh, oh. All right, now, what is this, y'all? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. All right. What's going on right here? Acts 8. Acts 8. Oh, y'all. Come on, Acts 8. Simon Sosa. Simon Sosa. All right, Acts 8. What has happened? Alright, you lied, you lied. You was a dope head when you went down. Alright, 
right? And you came up, you're still a dope head. You want to go puff puff pass, all right? Until you have worked, you have been with the Lord long enough, you prayed long enough, and you practice, you practice uh, staying away from that, that environment. Am I right? All right. All right? It is a process it, that you got to grow to. You got to grow to. All right? Now, if you don't grow to it, all right, and you jump, you're going to jump right back out there in it, before long, you're going to find yourself right back in. Yep. Yeah. Does that make sense? I say there was some Simon said, Simon said, shoot. I want some of that. I want some of that. Give me some. Give me some. All right? And then, and then, and then, and then what did, what had to happen? What had to happen? He had to be told. Had to be taught. Boy, this is a teaching here. I'm trying not to get stuck at you. Because it's some stuff here. You got to have folk in leadership that has the courage to address people. Right. You, you, you can't be a leader and want to address nobody. Mm -hmm. You can't let people just keep acting any kind of way right. and think, oh, it's going to be okay. Yeah. No, no. Not be enough to correct me. Love me enough to say something to me. If you know I'm going to run into a wall, love me enough to say stop. Yes. Instead of sit back over there and say, you know what, well, well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, some of that, ooh. But that, 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 that old self got him again, you know. He knew he was still caught up in that stuff anyway. You don't know why I wouldn't say but I, I know. Yeah. I, 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 I know. I saw it. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. He knew he had a woman problem already. I saw him talking this morning, so I, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Y'all you know, don't know why he's playing with her. Everybody knows she that way. Uh, huh? Huh? If y'all already knew the cougar was going to get her, to want somebody. Yes. But everybody can say nothing. Nobody can say nothing. So if you're a leader, leaders got to be bold enough. To say something. Mm -hmm. And so what did the leader here do? Read the Bible. Yes, read the Bible. Yeah, that, thank you, sir. <laughs> he, he said, he said, repent, therefore. Watch this, watch this. He, he, didn't, he didn't play games with it. He called it what it was. Repent, repent, therefore, of this what? Wickedness. He, he, he didn't call it a white lie. He didn't call it, he didn't call, he didn't call it just, uh, no. Repent of this wickedness. Hmm. Call it like it is. Hmm. All right? And when you call it like it is, then people, then people know what it is. Yes. Huh? Make you go to the knowledge what it really is. It trips me out, it, it trips me out. I, I, it, 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 all, in both of my jobs, I sit there and I see people that, that, you ever seen people that, that know what they're doing? Yeah. They know exactly what they're doing. But they see if you're going to call them out on it. Yeah. And then when you call them out on it, then they smile and say, yeah, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. So a lot of folks in church be doing that. Mm -hmm. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how they're acting. But then nobody said nothing to them. Mm -hmm. And then when somebody called them out on it, then all of a sudden they look at yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. Oh, for real? Come on, gang. What? That's all it is. Hey, see, see, I'm playing. see, I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it, but thank you, you said it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, gang. Try to, try to run game. Try, try to run game, all right? But see, if there's no leader that will stand up and call it like it is right. and say what it is, it. then it, it just keep it just keep multiplying. Because nobody addresses it. That makes sense. All right, so he says, he says, he says, he says, so repent, right? Come on. Therefore, therefore, and watch it. And pray that God does what? Perhaps the thought of that heart oh, may be forgiven me. Oh, oh, pray that. See, I love the way he addressed this. He said, he said, pray God. No, 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 no. I want to get the, get the essence of this. Watch the essence of this. Repent. For what you say, but pray that God perhaps forgives you 
for the thought that's in your heart. Y'all see that? What you ask for, y'all see it? What you ask for was one thing, but the, the motive and the reason for why you ask is what you need to be getting addressed to. Y'all see that, y'all? Pray that perhaps God would forgive you in the text. Yeah. In that heart. Yeah. Come on and read something. May be forgiven thee, for I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness. Ow! Yeah. I perceive the truth. The, 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 the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Oh, that's good, y'all. That's good, y'all. Come on, is there any more of that? Then that's the sign. Then that, watch this, y'all. Watch, 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 watch this, read. Pray ye to the Lord for me. Uh-huh. That none of these things uh -huh. happen. See, see, when that way, watch, watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. When you go ahead and you address people like you ought to address people, if they got an honest heart, yeah. then they gonna want to change. They gonna receive it. They gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna receive it. And then they're gonna say, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, Solomon's heart was 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 right. Think about it, y'all. Not too many days further, he had obeyed the gospel. He wanted a change. Alright? But he found himself falling back. But then somebody loved him enough to say something to him. Yes, sir. And then what he what he said, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, not only am I going to pray, not only am I going to pray, but can't when you pray for me? That's the text, Andrew. Pray to the Lord for me. Read, come on. And none of these things which he has spoken uh -huh. about on me. On, on me, come on. And they. And they. And they had testified. Yeah. And preached the word of the Lord. Yeah. Returned to Jerusalem. All right, so look, so look, so look. So Simon, Simon asked not only will I pray, yeah. but also you pray for me. All right, because I don't want nothing to happen to me. Y'all see the power of prayer, power, power of prayer. Here we go. Here's another one of those questions: Do you want the assurance of knowing that your sins are forgiven? Do you want that assurance? If you want that assurance, then you ought to be always praying. You ought to be always praying because that's found in the power where of prayer. All right. Next slide. Come on. Any comments? Because I don't want to do all talk. Any y'all? Any any anybody want to jump in there? So we ain't got all we, we ain't got all we got we ain't got all the other folk here tonight. All right. So we may be we may be we may even get through this whole slide. <laughs> y'all didn't get past one slide last week. Y'all got past one slide. One slide. All right. Now now. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. This is why I love this one here. All right. There is peace from God. The antidote, look at this, to anxiety is what? Is to pray. When, 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 when you are all jacked up, you need to pray. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Philippians 4 and verse number, verse number 6. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Whenever you, whenever you jacked up, you need to be praying. Mm -hmm. All right, be careful for nothing, but what? No, but in everything. But in everything. By prayer. By, woo, there it is. By prayer. And supplication, do what? Thanksgiving. With thanksgiving, do what? Let your request be known unto God. Alright? Alright? Come on and read something. Watch this, y'all. Now look, now look, now look. Now look. Ooh, I love this. Whenever you are worried, you are anxious, you are anxiety, you have an anxiety attack, alright? Get to your prayer closet. Get to your prayer closet. Alright? You need to get with God. Alright? Alright? Prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. I make your request known unto God. Come on here. And watch it. When you do that, the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Hey, folk don't understand. You don't even know why you got peace. Come on. I would be losing my mind in this situation, but for some reason, I'm calm. For some reason, I am, I am chilling. When I ought to be just going crazy, all the, all the indicators are that I ought to be going down and I ought to be falling all out. But you know what? What I did was I gave it over to somebody. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And that comes with 
That's that. There you go. There you go. That comes with spirit. Watch this. That comes with spiritual growth, and not with spiritual growth, but that comes with experience of seeing God do it. You ain't gonna. It ain't gonna happen if you don't ever try. Yeah. You ever try? You gotta pray. Give it to him. Let him have it. All right. All right. All right. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Watch this, y'all. And the peace of God. Watch this, y'all. What he passed all of us said, watch what it does. Hold on, wait a minute. Why ain't wait? Part for a bit. Bah! The peace of God. What is it going to do? It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep. All right, now what? It's going to keep your heart. That means, that means God. It's going to keep your heart. And what? And your mind. Watch, watch y'all see this. But look, look at what he just said it's going to do. The two things it's going to touch. Your heart and your mind. Alright, so the seat of your emotion is your heart. Yeah. <laughs> the seat of your intellect is your mind. Watch this, y'all. So, so now, now, now look, now look, now look, now look, now. I if my emotions get out of whack, then my mind get out of whack. It's like it's, it's like it's like a it's like a two-way street going on. Alright? Two-way street going on. If I don't have something God in my emotions. All right, it'll mess my mind up. If I don't have some God in my mind, God in my mind, it'll mess my emotions up. Y'all see that? But see, watch what God, what God says, what God does is when we pray, and this is why it don't make sense to nobody. This is why it, this is why it passes all understanding. Because what happens is when you pray, now all of a sudden you got you got God's. On those two areas that should have you going crazy. That's right. Your heart and your, and your mind. And so you sit up here, you sit up here, people are like, why, why you, you why you ain't why you ain't why you why you not going crazy? Why you not? Well, I got I, well, somebody's somebody's on the job. Yeah. Let that marinate for a minute. Let that marinate. Somebody's on the job. <laughs> All right? And, 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 and God your wife. Oh, yeah. man. Come on, read. Through Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus. All right? That's verse what? Verse 7. Verse, verse 7. All right? Uh, no, what, what did verse 8 say? Because I, I want to go to the Find it, brother. Find it, brother. Find it, brother. Find it, brother. Ow! Watch! 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 Now, you just say what? Spiritual, spiritual growth. Isn't that right? You just say it's spiritual growth. Now, watch this, y'all. All right? Now, your heart and your mind is being God. Does that make sense? All right, all right, all right. Your heart and your mind is being is being God. The peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. All right, is doing what it's supposed to do. Now watch this. Now watch this. Now and, and through Christ Jesus. Now watch as this is going on. All right. All right. Now watch how you need to shift yourself. Finally, brethren, come on and read some. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are honest. Just come. Come on. Lovely, come on. Good report. Read. Virtue. In the prayers. He said, do what? Think on these things. You see that? Does that make sense? Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Well, that'll preach all day long. That'll preach all day long. I'm not gonna that'll, that'll, that'll work there. All right. So, 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 through prayer, you get peace. Okay. All right. And and it's God in your heart and your mind. And why is God in your heart and your mind? Then you just then you then you fill your mind with these things. Does that make sense? Alright, because watch, if these things are not God in your heart and your mind, other things filter in. Yeah. And then, watch this, all of a sudden you don't have the peace that surpasses all understanding because you let other stuff drip in. And as other stuff drip in, alright, now you begin to drift away. Is that alright? Y'all good? Alright, alright, I got 10 minutes. Alright, alright, watch it, here we go. Don't you want the peace of mind and heart that surpasses all understanding? Yeah. Well, if you want it, why you ain't praying? Yeah. If you want it, why you not 
in a mindset of prayer. If you want it, why you not stand in prayer, in your prayer, in your prayer mindset all the time? If that's what you want, pray. Pray. My thing is this. Let God be God. Y'all yes, good? That makes sense? Now, is it easy? No. No, it ain't easy. But it's a conscious effort that you have to make. You got to make a conscious effort. All right? It'll be like this, like this, y'all. You can't get too busy that you forget to, that you forget to pray. Because if you do, then you'll start thinking you can go without praying. Yeah. Just like eating. Just like eating. Sometimes I get so busy I don't eat. I do like I, I get going, I'm just going. Then I'll my head sort of. Then I get that then I get that sign. Oh, so my head sort of. I'm like, why that head ain't? I've been great at all day. And so watch this, my body started adjusting to not eating. Mm -hmm. And then watch this, then I gained weight because I didn't eat. I'm like, why am I gaining weight? Well, what ends up happening is my body holds on to everything because it's like it's going to stop on starving. Yes. So there they are. Does that make sense? Same thing with your prayer life. If you stop praying, all right, you start pouring your, your spiritual life will act as, you'll be acting as though, okay, I'm going on, I'm good, I'm functioning right now, and then all of a sudden a crisis comes. A crisis comes, and now you don't have anything in the tank to help you deal with the crisis. Is that right? Next slide, please. All right, this is the last one we're going to do tonight. All right, there is strength from God. Ooh, yes. Oh yes, I like this. Ephesians 3. Uh, Ephesians 3, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I'm going to stop at this one. I promise you. I'm not going to go over because Drew going to read fast. All right. Paul prayed that, that, if, that Ephesians might be strengthened in the will. Inner man. When we need to be strong, Christians can likewise pray for themselves. You, you, you pray for the inner man. All right? All right, watch this. Ephesians 3, verse number 4, verse 14. Let's call, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. The whole family in heaven and earth this night. I'll come on. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory. Riches of his glory, come be on. Be strengthened with the might by his spirit. Be strengthened by the might in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Yeah, look, he look. Being rooted Look, if your inner man is jacked up, your outer man will be too. Okay? Pray for your inner man. All right? Now watch this. What else? Now what to say? That you be what? Said that Christ may dwell in your heart. In your faith. Why? Wow, my faith read. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Rooted and, and grounded, grounded in love. In love. Now I'm, a pray I'm praying for you. That you have these things. Alright? That you're strengthening the inner man. And when you strengthen an inner man, then that you can be rooted and grounded in love, church. Read. May be able to comprehend with all things. Come on here. That is the breadth, breadth the length, the length and depth, and the height. depth and height of what? And to know the love of to Christ. To know the love of Christ. Which Come on. Passes not. Which passes all kinds that of knowledge. That you may be filled that with, all, may the filled with the all the fullness of God. I'm praying for your inner man. I'm praying for all this. Now, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm going to pray for it. And now, after I pray for it, I'm going to tell you why it's going to work. Now. Now. Unto him that is um, able to do it secretly above. Wait, wait a minute. Now unto who? Him. Now unto who? Him. And watch who the him is. That is able to do it. The him is able to do exceedingly. Abundantly. Abundantly. All above all that we ask or think, or think 
according to the power that worketh where? In us. In us. So if you want strength, you got to pray. Pray for strength in the way. In a man. That makes sense, y'all. Yeah. All right. So, so that's so so that's why. See, prayer is so important. So important. Prayer gives us forgiveness. Prayer gives us peace. Prayer gives us strength mm -hmm. when we need it on the inside. Enemy. Your inner man. Yeah. So your old self won't jump up and take over. Yeah. All right. So that's what we got. Don't you want the power that is beyond our comprehension? Don't you want that power? Yes, Don't you want that power that when 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 you when you even surprise yourself that you still stand? Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't know why y'all are tripping. Y'all know sometimes it surprises sometimes it surprises it surprise you. It is, I maybe not want to talk about me. Because y'all may be better than me. Sometimes I, it surprises me on, on the fact that I'm still standing sometimes. Hmm. When I done got hit with all those blows and all of a sudden I should be down and out. But for some reason, I know why. <laughs> but I'm still standing. Mm -hmm. When I ought to be over, yeah. I'm still standing. And watch this. And I have strength to help somebody else. When I need help myself. Hey. Yeah. Ain't that what you want? Yeah. If that's what you want, all right, then make sure that you have a, have a strong prayer. Mm -hmm. All right? You cannot get the power if you disconnect from the power source. Yeah. You disconnect from the power source? Yeah. You'll go for a little while. Uh -huh. You'll go for a little while. Yeah. But after a while, you're going to go on and you're going to run out. Yeah. Because there's nothing still charging the battery. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense? Hey. All right, y'all. Y'all okay? Mm -hmm. We do okay? Yeah. Y'all good? Sure. All right. All right. Prayer request for tonight? Yes, brother. Mm -hmm. Brother Hill. Right. Yes, we do. Yes, it's Mark. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, pray for my brother. He's up there in Big Town. Okay. But he needs help. Hey. Okay, we'll pray for your brother. All right. Pray for Shalon. She's out. She's in Dallas still. She pray for her, but she gonna she, she gonna be a mama. She's gonna drive all the way from Dallas tomorrow. To get the track meeting in the Huffman tomorrow, and then after the track, she's gonna drive back to Dallas to be at a back at her event that she's that's at, at, at work, and then she's gonna come back on Saturday. She's gonna drive back, get me back this Saturday, Saturday. So just pray, pray for that the Lord will watch over as she travels Amen. on these on these dangerous highways, and pray for my son Terry. Just continue to pray for him um, that he's away. Pray for my mother-in-law who's with her this weekend. She's doing great. But you know, she has her days. Mm -hmm. She has her days with the loss of my father in law. But just, so please pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, pray for her. All right? Okay, well, we'll be standing and we'll close out with a word of prayer. Uh, brother, brother Hill, can you close us out? Thank you so very much.
Great night, gentlemen. Good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.